What's a pop a lop on YouTube? Rifle Gaming here, bringing you Rifle Gaming's Forging Secrets. You're probably like, oh no, episode 2? What's gonna happen? Yeah, you guys come in saying you want wall aesthetics, I'll give you some wall aesthetics. Instead of having that boring old wall coliseum, why don't we switch it up a bit? Use some more things that are themed like, kind of like alien themed, dark theme, science theme, military theme, theme, theme 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 i'm just kidding but yeah you want themes for maps you don't want just a wall coliseum ooh that's cool or a building block four by four flat ooh that's cool you see that all the time so instead of seeing all that all the time why don't you just subscribe and then you'll see different things and you comment on what you want me to show you or what you think you would like to learn I will give you some forging secrets. Not necessarily secrets now, but they're going to help you. They're going to help you. Forging tips, tricks. You need to keep updated with these videos. I'm telling you, I want your guys' forging imagination to expand. Alright, let's start this off. Okay, to start off, you're going to need a frame. So, make your frame, and then go to Scenery, go to Covenant, Open, Create. Get one of those. And then get a 2 by one flat. That would be located under building blocks. If you don't know that, well then you probably haven't forged much. Once you get that, you're going to be making a wall. You can you can make this wall as long as you want. You know, look, I only did like one wall just to show how to make it. But you can extend the walls and looking nice until you run out of crates, of course. But it looks really nice. I've done it before and I liked it. It's great for themed maps such as Alien bomb looking bomb maps I don't know use your imagination maybe a science map as well but as you can see what I'm doing here kind of form the 2 by one flat into the crate and make sure the crates kind of pushed back a little bit then add a covered glass and keep repeating that step and you will have a wall on to my next choice which would be dun, 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 you guessed it the floating item wall thing it looks great if you put it in any map, just about. Besides maybe if you're building like a caveman map. But it looks great. Use this, use this, use this. It's gonna, it's just a, like a good aesthetic. But what you gotta do, get a grab lift. Put it down, sink it into your frame or your floor. And make sure you know what depth the grab lift was on. So you can do the same depth as the other grab lift. And raise the top grab lift whatever you want so but make sure the blue is still connecting so it kind of looks like it's like a form of I don't know like steam or energy kind of coming through then add your item of your choice I add a cone a camping stool and a sandbag end wall that's what I did but you add your own items mix it up maybe using maybe just use the bigger man cannon trying to do something like that and put like a big crate in there or something that'd be cool just you don't gotta do exactly what I do. This is just trying to build up your imagination. It, this will look nice as an aesthetic piece, so use it, use it, use it, use it, guys. Everything I'm showing you, use them. I don't mind. Now on to the next one. As we go, attention. Yes, this is the military theme. Wall. It doesn't necessarily have to be a military theme though. It could be a uh, male theme. Those could look like packages in the wall but like I said use your imagination this is a nice looking wall comes together quite well you could do a UNSC ship with it but all you gotta do really is kinda create the wall with the crates put them together stack them up do what you're doing and then once you have them use two by one flats and flip them to this side where it would be kind of you know, looking like they're together, formed together. Make sure it's just looking like this. Just lower down, sink them into the crates, and add a little bit of scenery and stuff onto the wall. Make it look more military-ish, if that's even a word. Like, I, I, for an example, all I did was add a capture plate and put it onto the wall, and there we go. What do we got? We got something looking like uh, something belongs in the military. Or a mailman. On to... Once again, platform XXLs. You know, they're normally used as frames or floorings. 
either one call it but instead I switch it up a bit and I use it as a wall and for the wall I add of course greenery just you know just to be unique you don't ever see these in maps so see them now guys start creating and you know tin cup really didn't look good kinda I mean it kinda did like you know it's kinda unique but I don't know you could probably use maybe put a maybe put like a covered glass in there and then like put put like I don't know something else in there like maybe a 2 by 4 kinda sink it in that'll look kinda cool maybe I don't know, just use your imagination. Sink it into the hole right there, the little diamond thing. And they, like, sink in there nice, so it looks cool. But, yeah, that's basically it. Now we're going to go to Sniper Nest. This is very, very cool. Like, I really like this one a lot. This could be used for a lot of infection maps. All you got to do is flip a Sniper Nest over on this side where it's, like, that white part. has a cool design. Now stack them. Once you stack them start you can push them in and that creates like a vent the vent could lead to i don't know mummies dropping out of egypt uh mummies dropping out of a pyramid or something go wild with it but that can also be a vent for zombies to come out of or you can block it off where they can't go up there it's your choice but or it could be like a story drop where you can go at the top of the sniper nest and drop down but in this video i just blocked it off i know i'm lame i know Smack me. Now, on to, yes. Um, I like to call this a base for a wall. Basically, just stack, I mean, not stack, wow. Put a line of bridge smalls and add a cover glass with the lights pointing downward. So, it kind of forms nicely. All you need is two bridge smalls here. I actually messed up and used three, but I deleted them. Yeah, use bridge smalls. Kind of get them going, you know. That could be like, you can put anything in there. Now let's do the dark wall, shall we? All you gotta do is, I think these are 2 by one banks. I don't remember, it could be a 2 by 2 oh, no, it's, I think it's 2 by one I think it's 2 by one or a one by 2 I, I don't remember, but get the banks looking like this. Kind of stack them, form them in, creating a wall. And then that wall could be like for darker maps, or maybe, that that could be like, uh, you could turn this into kind of like a door if you wanted to, except not this large, of course. But I think it looked nice, had nice texture, looks different. You don't ever see it, so why not use it, you know? I mean, it's always good to be different. I hate seeing, like, the same maps over and over and over. Here's also a unique style. Use a window coliseum and kind of sink it in. Then get a wall coliseum and sink that one in. Only three walls, right? That's pretty cheap. So this is this is pretty nice this is a pretty nice one just for cheapness this one could be good for zoo a jail I think you guys know what's about to happen here stack bridge smalls at the bottom or your choice I just like the texture of the bridge smalls kinda gives off a nice texture then add the railings and tennis smalls which you would find under decoratives then stack the top so you don't see like you know the top of the antenna small so they look evened out cuz there's always there's always a smaller antenna than a larger antenna. It just looks weird if you have them. So kind of you know lower your bridge small that's on top down, so you don't really notice that. Now going down inside the base where we did the window coliseum and the wall coliseum, add green into it, like tin cups. Flip them upside down. You get out of gadgets if you don't know where tin cups are. Okay, now we're back to that window base thing wall we made. I'm going to put something in that window based thing wall we made, and I'm going to put an aquarium. Wow, I said that wrong. Aquarium. Aquarium. Who cares? Anyways, what you got to do is put an energy shield medium back there. Add a few rocks to kind of give the feel for an aquarium. Like, you know, get the rocks looking nice, not all the same level, you know, use free form. Once you got the rocks in there, you go to objectives and get out a flag stand. The flag stands will stand for your fishies. Your fishy, swim, 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 finding Nemo. No, that was gay. Once you got the fishies in there, add the crab. Yes, the crab. All you gotta do is flip a portable shield upside down. You get the portable shields out of scenery, barricades, portable shield. Once you got the portable shield, flip it upside down. It kind of gives this cool form. And you got to, you know, of course, put the portable shield in first and then add the rocks so it kind of 
sinks into so you don't see the glowing part makes the crab now on to like I guess this could be like for a ruined map if you want ruins for a wall here's some nice ruins you can also use ruins for the Egyptian thing I showed you guys where the tunnel you can jump out of but I think this looks really nice so use it for some ruined maps also for the fish tank I forgot to tell you guys you want to add wall coliseums to the side of it so it doesn't look like you know like it's not I mean it just looks cleaner if you add some things on the side of it of the fish tank or aquarium whatever you want to call it and I'm just using a lot of energy shields just as I just cuz I can but just one in the back looks nice people get the point people understand it's supposed to be a fish tank I'm just adding a lot just to add it just just so I can show you guys this full effect but one's good enough guys don't waste this much money on one piece of aesthetic I hope this guy I hope this guide helps you guys out and tell me what you guys want to learn tell me some things you guys want to know about forging aesthetics and how to make your map look better suicide I hope this end up